Hello and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. In the last episode, we did a massive amount of reading, and then I went into a really loud corridor. We're currently researching this girl. This uh... look, it's this really loud corridor. Uh, use a notebook. That makes no sense. No, I don't think it would. Uh. Shit, I can't remember what to do. Oi, bitch. Yeah? Is there anything? No. Do you have any? Nope, just another. Do you have a phone? You wanna just a you'll yeah, you think I'm thick of Thanks for help, yes. Yeah, I don't know. I need to get a photo. She won't give me a photo. Do research. Joanne? No, I can't. Suicide. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. A photograph. Nope. No photograph. Adrian. Nope. Nope. Kelly. No. That's not. That's. No. Uh, okay. <sighs> I am just maybe tomorrow, but today it's just not. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I'm not ready. Uh. Okay. Oh yes. Let's now go ask all these extra questions I've got. Hmm? Hi, Kelly. it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you yes. want to know? I have more questions. What can you tell me about Jack? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Wow. I don't want her as a doctor. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Was Joanne a good- I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Well, that's all. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my- Yay. Oh my god, this corridor is so loud. Yeah? So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Joanne never how you live like I Thanks for helping. Yes. Yeah, no. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. That Kelly was lying to me. Let's go ask that Kelly yeah. if she was lying to me. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acting just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? 
Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I'd been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Okay. Well, thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Bye, beaches. Wait, no, I can go this way. Ugh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. This is getting bad. I think her head's gonna explode. Everybody ducking cover! Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Right. No more interruptions. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Okay. Let's go to bed. No. What's... It's a glowing picture. I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. Oh. What is this glowing? It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. It's me. I look scared out of my mind. I don't remember when this picture don't was taken. Blame her. She looks like a fucking joker. Old. Now, this joker lady, let's look take a good look right here. Yeah? This is Auntie Lauren. Okay. Now if we back out and we look at the breading photo. Looks nothing alike. It's one of the complaints I will have about this game is that they have so many different character models for all the characters. Do I go to the hospital? Can I just go straight through? Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in? I gotta clear you first. Oh. I'm here to see. Sure thing. Go right in. Yeah. Come in. Wait, bitches. Doctor Quentin. Oh, hello. Give me Come drugs. In. Come in. I'm having headaches. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Useful. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Peace out, homie. I'm just gonna sit and stare at this wolf for a bit. Because that's all he does. This doctor doesn't do any doctoring. I wish I could go to bed. No. I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. Cool. Um... What now? She said she needed some air. Come in! We'll walk across the way then. Why not? Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Uh. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? <laughs> Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. Yep. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah, usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Jeebus. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Uh... Well, I'd better... Take care, Ro. Come back when... I'm just gonna, you know... I don't think I need to be here yet. I don't need to bother. I'm not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them. I have no... I don't need to take the... Just a trash can. I don't know what it wants me to do. My computer. It... Just a stand... I wish I... Um... I assume that this is a. I assume that this is a friend. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Okay. Uh. Door. I'm not knocking on. Go on, knock on the stranger's door. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! What the fuck? Did it glitch? It said she needed some fresh air. So I went outside. It's a photograph of... Auntie Laura. She took care of for most of. I don't remember what this picture is. Uh... The picture glowed though when she was having a headache. This TV. This is the only living. It's still living. To... I might actually need to look this up. Out of sight? Yeah, I know that feeling. Uh... No, those... My window with the... Just a stand... Cook? Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Please don't tell me it glitched. Do some research. John? No, I. No mention of Joanne. Nope. No. Okay. No, let me out. Uh, I am. Maybe but today. It's just. It's a. 
I may have broken it by going straight to the picture. Uh. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to look it up and see if I've broken it. Um, if I have, I'll fix it, you know. I'll, next episode, we will play the game. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.